Good morning, good afternoon, or good after whatever time it is that you're watching this uh, on playback. Steve here, Dragon Lord Coins. Got myself a fair bit of change from the bank yesterday. Just showing you the shield and tamper with bag. I normally use my scissors, but I forgot to bring them over to the table and I cannot be bothered. So there we go. Two force and ignorance. Five hundred quid in two pound coins. Um, as always, I'm always hopeful. I'm hopeful for is an Olympic coin it would be nice. Or Commonwealth. Or failing that, King James Bible, Mary Rose, Magna Carta, even that sort of stuff. But let's have a look skegs and eyes down for full house. Hopefully the first oh well there's only a kitchen there, but at least it's not a duff bag to start off with. That's always a good omen. So I'm gonna stick him over there on the edge. Ooh, oh now we're talking. First bag as well. We've got ourselves a 2015 Royal Navy and this is a Vintage of only 650,000, and some of these do come with flag errors. This one doesn't appear to have a flag error. Not that I'm particularly bothered. It's a nice, shiny condition one. Really good example. I'll stick him over there. So, first bag, certainly very promising. It'd be nice if the rest of the bags can follow suit. But I'm a realist. But even if the hunt was just. Uh, Navy ship, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be better than some hands I've had, but let's have a look. I'm just doing this one like this because these videos are quite quick. Oh, a Britannia now. Of course, they also did 650,000 of these in 2015. But what date is it? The 2016 one. Still nice to have. Twenty sixteen in the last year that they put a two pound coin into circulation. Oh, Rabbi Burns again in very good condition. Nice and shiny. Last week the bags I was going through were all pretty minging. Those. Nice to have all the coins on the table thus far, being shiny. Come on, there we go. Abolition of slavery, 2007. Nothing special there, but... Stick it on the counter just for variety. So far, not too bad. Five different types. Of course, the ones I'm going through it now are standing on the shoulders of giants or technology. There's a relatively common one. That's Brunel, the portrait. Are you Brunel the man? All his achievements, which is Brunel's bridge. Sorry, Brunel's arches. Paddington Station. There's another Brunel. There you go, you don't see one, and you get two. Relatively common coin. I would say the ten a penny, but it's a two pound coin, so it's two hundred per coin. And, uh, well, two hundred pennies per coin anyway. There's Charles Dickens, very common coin. And it wouldn't be complete without him. Oh, I should put on some of the APP, American Patriots. 
put the live free music in the background, shouldn't it? I always find silence weird because I always have the radio on non stop playing my music. I just had to tell Alexa to be quiet. Moments before turning on the camera. Within seconds of pressing stop on this video, I'll be talking to her again. There's a third Brunel portrait. Like I said, the common. Definitely be going back to the bank. Just leaving it on the table now. But we'll be joining the others in this roses tub very soon. Another Dickens. Bad condition. Well, I haven't been keeping count on how many bags I've gone through, but I think I'm getting towards halfway around now. There's the active union. Over there. I'm hoping I'm going to have some nice ones join. This nice line for me. So far, both the Tanya and Navy. Let's compare the plot. If that works. <laughs> there we go. Just going to have to go down there for now. Keep them in shot. First bag was pretty damn good. The rest have gone down in standard a bit. So I have to my position. My back's beginning to argue the toss about me having my arms on the other side of this tripod. Hey, Golden Guinea. cleaning but I use my magical microfiber cloth give that a gentle rub and hopefully it will take off that surface dirt because golden guinea is certainly one of the ones I always keep on to uh, Shakespeare histories there's a crown so I must apologise for the light today. It's a little darker in here than I thought. Particularly for the time. Good it's uh, just gone twelve on Saturday morning at the point. Dark and dingy. Weather's well, currently dry, but certainly there's another Brunel. Getting sick of him now, that's four of them. I wouldn't get sick of the Fumi 4 Olympics, but I don't think they're gonna. I still need the centenary and the handover to Rio for my book. And three Commonwealths. And then that book will be complete. I'm actually just taking ownership of Three Northern Ireland's Commonwealth Games in the last few days, which I've secured for putting on my website and eBay. Never had so many men, but for ages. And there's another Kitchener, which is the first find of the day. I've been told there's a, an error with some of the Kitcheners where they are not putting on the back of it, where you can see the bomb two pounds. And some of them, supposedly, they don't have the two pounds on there. I quickly went through all of the kitchens I had, which wasn't all that many, because I don't tend to keep them on the basis I can always find them easily. And I didn't come across any which had the, the denomination missing. More's a pity. Uh, but if that is the case, obviously it's worth flicking the coin over before discarding it, just to check. 
It will obviously affect the price dramatically. Oh. Three bags left. Three bags full. Soon to be three bags empty. Oh, look at that, you little beauty. King James Bible. I'll definitely accept that. And that is wunderbar. That's another abolition of slavery. Hey, I got a decent one. Not one I need for a book, I've already got it in my book, but certainly one I keep in stock as that goes on my selling platforms. There's Trinity Lighthouse. And we've got enough. Oh, and I did get the Olympics. It's not one of the ones I need. There's only three Olympics, and this is what I've got, which is the Beijing one. Uh, but brilliant to get. Look at that. I've got Beijing and King James Bible and the naval ship. There's Chethic Industries. Hey, this is turning to being a blooming good hunt now. There's DNA Double Helix. It's always nice to hit the other side of the map. And technically, even more on the other side of the map, because I don't want off one of my spaces. So the last bag. I'm not really expecting anything. There's a Dickens. Because I shouldn't really be that greedy. I should be happy with what I've got. I am very happy with what I've got, and that's it. So we're just going to disconnect the camera, so look at all. Right, so the ones I'm keeping from here are obviously those three. 2015 Navy, limited to just 650,000. King James Bible, really nice nick. The Beijing, again, really nice nick, happy with that. And these four, which aren't all that special, but that is probably the best condition Robbie Burns I've seen in a long, long time. I keep all the Britannias within 2015 or 16. Uh, same goes for all the Shakespeare's and that's the histories. And that's a golden guinea, which although is a little bit dirty, I'm hoping to polish up. So that is my little ones I've kept. Everything else is going to go back to the bank. So not that many for my five inch grid bag, but. You can't complain when you pick a blues for you, can you? And if you have to any coins, uh, like the ones you've just seen and are currently seen, uh, they are on my website, dragonlordcoins.com. Uh, and if there's anything on the website, or isn't on the website, more to the point that you're after, I may well have it. So drop me a line. My contact details are on there. Okay. Bye for now. See you on the flip side.